Hello. <clears throat> I got you moved a little bit. And that corner still looks like garbage. <laughs> Look at that. Hide my trash. <laughs> okay, I think if I stay back a little bit, I'll be all good. Push now. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, Miss Ginger. How are we this evening? I'm so excited. I've missed y'all. All right. I am going to start off on my um, ding ding planner. Okay. Stickers from last week, gone. Half the stickers I'm keeping out because they have blue. And this kit that I chose has blue. Cause I'm blue. Okay. I chose, these are from Parasol Paper Company. And it's called Sea of Stars. I got that prettiness going on and that prettiness. I am also using spare bits and pieces from other planner companies. This one is bean sprouts because I got bits and pieces left on that one. Uh, little bits from the liner. And that's it. So I'm just going to start. Doing this bit while we waiting for some peeps to come on. Actually, I'm going to take my flesh shirt off. Because I'm toasty warm. <sighs> there we go. The hen house is live. Good to know. Love that my computer lets me know that I'm live. How do I store my kits? Stay here. <laughs> like so I got them all lined up in just standing upright for now I don't know how else I am going to do it but eventually and then when I'm done I just I don't even look it's terrible um, but I did get some new storage things in I got two more of these this week and I got two right here that you're sitting on at the moment that I am learning and trying to get things so that it's all right here. So I don't got to run from one end of the room to the other. That drives me nuts. <sighs> get this out. I got, I've been ordering so much planner stuff. I'm so excited. Oh, I don't want to set that. I want to set that over there. So I can get this out the way so I don't bang and clang. Guys, tomorrow is a new month. Hello, Papa. Hey, Bethan. My gang is here. So I'm going to do this guy first. I should show you how the week ended up, huh? Before I do it. Dun, 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 dun. Monday, Tuesday. Beth wants to know how all her favorite hens are doing. <laughs> Getting ready to gaggle and giggle. All excited. I missed you all. It's been a long week. <laughs> you ever feel like that? Jeez. Just the week just like drags on and on. And you're like, hurry up. Get here. Mm. 
I'm actually going to the post office tomorrow. I'm going to try. It's going to be single digits again. And it's been gorgeous all week. Uh, high 30s. Today was almost 50. And I tell you, I was at the races. And what a show because there was water and slush. And it was just great. This has been the longest week from hell. My son was sick all week. Finally, all better, though. I am so happy he's doing better. And by the way, he's freaking adorable. Can we all just agree on that? Oh, my gosh. Just absolutely adorable. Cute as a button. Okay, I'm going to just put my dates... Day of the weeks down. I was being extra creative and I was making some inserts and um, dashboards and stuff by cutting up other ones. I got all kinds of from cloth and paper that and a B6, and I don't use B6 anymore. I use a personal wide, but my po in my pocket as well. So I just cut them babies down. I made it work for me. And then I think I threw it away. I did. And one out, it's down, it's gone. One of our subscription boxes, we got that planner that was spiral bound. And I didn't use it. So I cut it up. <laughs> I um I'll show you that later if I remember. I used the dashboards in there. I cut them up, and I also cut up the um, the month pages. Thank you. He's a cutie and very sweet, too. Oh, my God. He's so adorbs. I figure if I pull you a little bit closer, maybe not. There we go. Y'all can see my little face a bit and see what I'm doing. Not like the lighting is going to let you anyway. So maybe not. I was a hardcore A5 user, and now I use a personal size rings, and I cut a lot of stuff up to fit. You can actually make stuff work pretty well. You can. You can. You just got to think outside the box a little bit so that you don't cut off designs, and you still have room for the rings. And Oh, I was having a blast. But then my, my arms were like, oh, I couldn't... I'm getting so over this garbage. And my, I gotta make another phone call on Monday because my bone doctor dude hasn't gotten back to me yet. And they were supposed to close their office tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. Cut, cute. It worked. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. We were, my husband and I were having a bet on whether the snow would disappear off the roof. It didn't. It's still there. I won. It snowed every other day this week. Every other day. I was like, what the heck? I'm tired of the snow. It's ready for spring. I need to cut some washi, but I don't know. Do I want to use this stupid thing? This thing's not bringing me joy. Oh, knocked over my head. My stool. Ay, ay, ay. You miss it bad? Well, I would send you some, but it wouldn't make it. One year, we drove down to Florida with coolers full of, um, of snow. <laughs> and it actually made it. We stopped in South Carolina at a friend's that I grew up with. She's lived in South Carolina for, oh God, almost 20 years now. And she hadn't seen snow all that time. So I brought her some snow and then I brought my in-laws some snow.
there. Work. Cut out around everything. Used to live in Pennsylvania and we had tons of snow. Here in North Carolina, we get none. On one of my trips south, when I go down there again, I'll have to plan it for the winter time. Stop off and give you boys some snow. Because that would be cool. Oh my god, I would love to watch him play with it. How sweet would that be? Dun, 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 dun. I'm having such a struggle. Because this washi piece is too long. The struggles are over. Break out the big guy, right? Deal. Absolutely. You will. When I go drive down to visit Miss Beth, I will take a detour and see Miss Putt Putt. That would be so cool. Could you imagine? Oh my God, it would be so fun. The other thing I don't like about this thing is I don't give you much room for your hands to maneuver. Cut it straight. Good enough. Two, three, four, five. I can turn that into seven days. Oh, thank. I better cut one more and be done with it. Call it a day. Next weekend, next Sunday, we are going to, the ice races are all shut down now because it's been too warm and the ice is just getting a little too thin and too sloppy. Just set that right there. So next week, and I'm going to watch like a demolition derby in the snow where they like crash their cars into the snow. Oh, love it. You need a guillotine paper cut. cut blah, 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 blah. I have one. And it's still packed away. It's like this long. Well, no, about that wide, that long. Yeah. I got this little guy. I don't even know where I got it from. It's from the Exacto company. I had this. Oh, I think I'm going on at least 15 years now. And it's getting a little, you know, not happy with me. I just need it just a hint bigger. That's it. So I have four siblings in Pennsylvania. I need to plan a visit for him to go experience Pennsylvania. Oh, my God. That would be cool. That would be so cool. Whoops. Ay, ay, ay. That's the only thing I don't like about doing this one. Everything has to be, I don't know, straight. But when I do my journal, everything can be all wonky, crooked, and I'm good to go with it. Not here. Okay. Oh, um, but Miss Beth. Can I plug your thing on Thursday in here? Can I give you a shout out on that? Or or not? It's kind of like mysterious. <laughs> Miss Beth Ann, are you here? Is Beth in the house? Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you guys want some Lime Life makeup, I think that's what it is. Miss Ginger still got it. She's still doing it.
Beth Ann, hello. <laughs> I think she turned me on this bed. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to tell. You got to the count of three and I'm going to tell. One. Two. Yes, I mean the other one. You're pot pot forever and a day. You're always going to be pot pot. I got that one down. Well, anyways, on Thursday night, she's doing this thing where she's selling those fingernail decals that you put on all your fingers. If you want to be a part of that, tell her. Beth! <laughs> now I let the cat out of the bag. You say I'm here. <laughs> She's doing a fingernail sale, and if any of you want to get in on it, let me know in this box right here, Color Street. Say yes in the box right here, and Miss Beth can get a hold of you because you have to be invited to it. <clears throat> we got to support our sisters, absolutely. I think I just went too far. <laughs> she said like, did. Oh. I think I'm going to decorate next week. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't put any washi on Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, Friday. But I did do Saturday, Sunday, then the Monday, Tuesday, and then the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I think it'd be easier to move the date covers over. <laughs> <laughs> and then decorate. I don't know. Is it easy to get this wash off? Let me try. <laughs> I feel like such a dink. Oh, it's going to tear the paper. That's okay. I will just put the dates on next week. And then next week, we'll do this week on next week. <laughs> I would love that if I had nails. My nails are nasty now. Cover them up. <laughs> That's the link if you want to come. Don't see you, honey. Let me go back up. No, your link isn't showing. But put it in the hen house. Two. Absolutely. God, I feel like a dink. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, when a when a chicken dinner. Maybe I can make this last, and then we'll have washi on two weeks. I'll have to figure something blew out next week. Maybe it's blocked. It might be. I might have it set up so you can't do it. I don't know. See, I don't know much about this. Be right back. Go into the hen house. All right. So I'm going to stick to this here. Make it work, guys. I tell you. I think I did something like that last week, too. I started decorating the week after. Because I'm a freaking Fruit Loop. We'll just stretch it. We'll make it work. Close enough. I am going to. You're going to go to the nail party too? Yeah, Ginger. <laughs> so excited. So excited. Okay. Let's see. Do I have color blue? I do. One. Can you say? Mm -hmm. I got that one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then next week's all done too. <laughs> Jackass. I'm so excited. I've never been to one of those, but I had a grand time on Ginger's um, Zoom thing. Oh my God, those ladies are so sweet, so kind, and so informative. And they also, on her Lime Life, um, teach you how to do things which is 
Oh, so good. You love that show. I didn't see you asking any questions. Are you a pro at Jamaica? Because I ain't. <laughs> this is what I do. That's it. There's nothing here and here. And... Nope. I miss Ginger Zoom. I'm always running around like a nut. Hey, okay? welcome to the club. <laughs> you said jackass. I love that show. Oh, God. What a something those guys are. Huh? I, I couldn't claim them as my kids. I couldn't do it. I'd be like, I don't know them. <laughs> no way. Uh -oh. Oops, excuse me. Burped. Okay, what am I going to do here? Figaro. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Oh, March 1st is tomorrow. I'm all over the place all the time. Never know what I'm going to do. I was talking to my husband in the truck on the way home today. And I just realized I haven't been into a Michaels, a Hobby Lobby, a Joann's in a freaking year. A whole year. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I've survived. Like... When I go in, the whole store is going to be all brand new. And I'm going to be like, and go nuts and think I need everything. Like, God, it, I, I never would have believed it that I would go that long without going into one of our craft stores. That's only one. I want another sheet. <laughs> Give me more. I hate that when you don't got enough and you want to squeeze some more out. It's like, wow. Okay. So I do have a big to do tomorrow. Where's, what do I want to use? I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to use this one. I go to Joanne's maybe once a month. Stuff is pretty calm here right now. I'm just too freaking lazy. Seriously, I bum around in my house all day long in the most comfortable clothes. And then I don't want to put like pants on. I don't want to put jeans on. I don't want to put anything on. Okay. Tomorrow, the Planner Spot subscription box is going to be available. Order... The planner spot sub box. Guys, I'm going to get it. <clears throat> I tried to do the um, May Paper Co. I got an email that it was available to order. Gone. <sighs> and that's every other month. Every two months they ship to you. And... It's coming from Australia. I didn't make it. I lived in a world where bathrobes were acceptable in public. <laughs> I have bathrobes, but I don't wear them. I throw on a pair of sweatpants. I throw on a pair of, um, yoga pants and rock it all day. That's it. With my t-shirt, my sweatshirt on, I'm good to go. But then when I go out, this is my everyday leave the house. I got my work boots on because I was redneck. <laughs> and my jeans. And throw a sweatshirt on. And then it's me for the most part. Every once in a while I get dressed up. In the summertime. I wear nicer clothes just because I gotta feel pretty in the sun. <laughs> Question. Who knows me? What is my profession? Who's got it? Before I hurt my arm, what was my profession? Who's the first one? 
Pot Pot, you got it. You changed your name to Pot Pot. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Yay. Yes, I'm a carpenter. Full on, build houses, tear them down, run heavy equipment. I did it all. And I loved it because it was like crafting on a grand scale. It is just so fulfilling. I bum around too. I do my makeup and hair, but wear slippers to pick up. <laughs> it's on my list too. Tomorrow, tomorrow is when it opens and it goes fast. So I'm going to be like, maybe I'll stay up till midnight and be like, damn it. <clears throat> I think it's amazing. Kick ass. It's, it's really rewarding if you like physical activity. I love being physical and getting my hands dirty and all that because that's what I did as a kid. We never stopped. And um, I had the opportunity to sucker a friend in to let me work for him. And oh, my God. So much fun. Where am I? Okay. I don't know what I want to do. There's no pretty boxes this week. What the hell? I did get some stickers in yesterday and I recorded it, but I don't think I'm going to upload it because I'm like on the fence and I like to try to use things before I upload the video, which is why sometimes there's like a big gap in when I put videos up because I want to use the product and get to know it before I let y'all know it's awesome. So usually on first impression, I'm like, oh, these are awesome because they look awesome. But when you try to peel them off, they don't come off so well. And the kiss cut sucks. But that's what you get, Heather, when you pay less than a, just about a dollar a sheet. I'm trying to get one of these off. They are from Sandy Planner Boutique. Aren't those just the cutest freaking women you ever seen? Now watch. If I can get it. Okay. Her feet are cut off. And the white line is just... Like, look at the side of that coffee. Like, what the heck happened? There's a monster line on one side, right there, all around her leg. Nothing there. And she ain't got no feet because they're still on the paper. <sighs> but they stick like a bugger. They do. <laughs> um, and some of them, you peel them off the sheet, and half the sheet stays on the back of the sticker, so you got to Oh, which one was it? This one. I thought I was ripping the actual sticker, but it's not. It's the sticker paper backing that's stuck to the dang sticker. See? Oops. Took the sticker off. <laughs> I hate that. By the way, if you copy my sister-in-law's answers, you'll get... Some wrong. I'm waiting for your mom to answer them. And then I'm going to copy and paste. <laughs> and I'm going to want all those tickets. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I loved Emily's answers. Oh, don't you have but that's what I get for trying to be inexpensive and buy cute stickers. <coughs> but I do it. I did this one so that I could show you guys a good sticker shop that's got like a very inexpensive product, but it's good. See like this one right here? You hear it? That's still, the sticker is still attached to the backing paper. Which doesn't bother me so much because you can still use the stinking sticker. 
But when they cut off your design, it's considered an oops. And it should be sold as an oops. And they're not sold as an oops. And it like really bummed me out because I bought a... Isn't that cute? Shh. Not yet. <laughs> so those were... Uh, Cindy... Sandy Planner Boutique. They were, I think, a dollar twenty-five a sheet, which is absolutely phenomenal. But then again, you get what you order. You get what you pay for. I got no pretty boxes. Well, that's a real humdinger. Let's see what I can dig up. Probably not much. Ugh. Let's see what we got. I do have three or four planner companies that should be sending me stuff that I ordered. And I ordered inserts the other day and got them in. Um, oh, can't wait. Can't wait to use them. Oh, uh, that's under the star and under the, the sea. Do you think I got throw in some penguins? <laughs> Those are blue. We'll go with that. Oh, I forgot I had that blue. I'm not looking. Hey, good looking. Watch cook cooking. I'm about to cooking something up with me. I don't got blue. I don't got no blue. Since I knew stop all of my blue. I wonder if that would work. No? How about purple? Hot diggity down. Purple, 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 purple. Purple. God dang, I'm running out. Good thing I ordered some more. Purple. I think if I see it enough, it'll jump out at me. Make sure I didn't miss anything yet. My phone's going bonkers. Well, shit. Nope. Well, that's just... I do have, where do I got them? Never ready. I'm sitting at my desk setting my planner for the next week while I watch you. And my son has set up shop outside my door. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I got some of these gnomes. I'll put her on there. That's awesome. I can hear the TV downstairs. Usually it's not that loud. These right here are from Eclectic Scribbles. Is that her name? Amanda Moon from Eclectic Scribbles. I love her. She used to be on YouTube all the time. And then she went to, um, what is that called? 
some other type of platform. I can't remember what it, what it is. I don't know. I don't know. But you can check her out on YouTube. She's cute. Oh, I got another purple. What do we got here? Oh, that's not a sticker, though. That's a die cut. Purple and blue. Well, we're going to put some penguins on. Just because I need some cute little things. So. Makari or Poshmark. For what? Oh, no, no, no. She's actually isn't on YouTube anymore. She's back on YouTube now a little bit. But she went to this other um, platform where she doodles and does her thing over there. Can't remember it. And I got this little purple witch I'm going to put in front of this Christmas tree just to use these up. Well, that tree is not high enough. Busy Bee Planners. These are Uber, the Christmas, the, 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 the penguins, he's going to call them pumpkins, are extremely removable, which is cool. Okay, stick that on there. Do you see how I did that? <clears throat> and then I got a snow day staker. And oh, I hope it doesn't snow no more. I had enough. I can't remember the name. Mythic Scribbles. She's such a sweetheart and a phenomenal artist, too. She used to do bullet journaling, and if you go back and watch her old bullet journals, you will still get some great... Um, Ideas. Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> On the Twitcher. Twitch. I got me a weekend banner. So excited for that. I'm so looking forward to this weekend. It better hurry up and come. Okay, and I'm going to put this little llama girly thing on here. And now I need one more blue or purple thing. I need a sip of coffee is what I need. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put her over there. Because Sundays go live. Seriously, watch. This is so cool. You stick it on there. And then, if I can get under it. Watch. Oh, heaven. All stickers should do that. <laughs> until you leave them there for a short bit. And then they should stay. That was just so satisfying. Oh my goodness. 
and then get this sticker off here. Oh no, do I want blue? Because that's blue. Or I'm a little bit at a loss for now. Okay, I guess I don't need any of that shit. All that go there. I was thinking some people. People. Or, ah, here we go. We're going to do this. Use this. Fuchsia, I think. Oh, Ginger, if you're still here, do you record on your cell phone to upload? Or do you record on an actual camera? Choir minds need to know. Because I really want to figure this out. And I shouldn't use that color. Because that's the color of the planer. <laughs> oh, that one almost peeled off lovely. We're just going to have to move that little baby over. I'm like peeling this paper. But I'm bound and determined I'm going to save this sticker. There we go. I did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will put this purple one on tomorrow. Oh, I can't put a sticker on it's right to save my life. I record on my phone mostly, but will also use my tablet. And I have a webcam I use. Because I'm trying to figure out how to do it without using my phone. I have a, a Nikon camera downstairs, but I've not tried to hook it up to this laptop. And I thought maybe that was how it was done. Because you can do like you're premiering a video. I don't know how that works either. But it can be longer than the 23 minutes or whatever it is that they allot us. And I'm like, how should you do that? Do you put it into your computer program first? And then upload it? Because when I upload straight from my phone, you literally get, what is that? It's like 23 minutes or something like that. And then it won't let you upload it. Trying to be professional. We'll see how that works. I have a review of a nice, inexpensive webcam. I can teach you how to do a premiere. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? That's how I get. <laughs> When I get excited, <laughs> I would love you to teach me how to do these things. I've been, I don't know how long you've been doing it. I'll get the shakes. Um, I've been doing it since this summer. That's it. Like six months. So, yeah, I want to learn all these things. And I watch all those videos and I get frustrated and, like, I can't find that button. I ain't got that button. Okay, going back over to here on Sunday because we do our live. This is going to be the last Sunday, I think, that I will have to go live at 6. And then we can bring it back to 5 if you guys want to. But, but I had a YouTube channel about five years ago, and I just used my crappy old iPhone. I'm using my Galaxy, what is this thing? Galaxy S10 Plus or some alpha, I don't know what it is. But it works. So, yeah, I don't, I'm still learning all the time. You know what I want to learn how to do? Fast forward. 
Because I could do some seriously good videos, but I get in that habit of going, <laughs> before you know it, 20 minutes has gone by and I ain't done a damn thing. Help. How do I, how do I not take a suitcase on of planners and supplies on our race trip? I mean, just like bad. Oh, girl, I'm feeling you. What? Are you driving or do you got to take a plane? I don't know why it limits our time. I think that's the limit on your phone somehow because there isn't a limit on YouTube. I don't think they limit you until you hit a thousand subscribers. A thousand. That is huge. Like that isn't fair. And then another one is um, you have to have so many watched hours and all that. It, it's I get frustrated reading the rules. And I think it's just foolish. I don't have a thousand. Neither do I. <laughs> I think I just got over, what, 320? Like, and I wasn't even expecting anybody to watch my first video, but that was like my is my most watched video with what I did my um my fossil comparison videos. And still to this day, that is my most watched video and my most watched um like playlist style videos is my cloth and paper subscription. Isn't that something? And then crystals. I want my lives to be number one. Get all your peeps in here. <laughs> Ginger, you got to do some lives. Absolutely. <clears throat> when you're doing your, your videos, I talk to you and think like you can hear me. Don't put that sticker there. Don't. No. Oh, you pick the right spot. Every time. You give me anxiety. You'll, be, you'll have your sticker and you'll be like, mm, mm, mm. and I'm like, and then you always put it in the right spot. And I'm like, ah, like the angels are talking to us. <laughs> I have a thousand viewers on some of my videos, but I'm not limited. We should do a collab video together to help us grow. We need to work to getting us to a thousand. Absolutely. I ordered a um a pl uh, planner inserts that are about collaborating because i'm gonna learn this stuff <laughs> that sticker order we're both waiting for we could collab on that beast <laughs> we ordered from the same company and we're having the same issue with the same company how funny is that <laughs> but Ginger's persistent. She got through to the peeps. I didn't. What was I going to do? Live. Yes. Live, 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 live. Put my sticker down. Put my sticker down. No, I need eyeballs. So I go kind of straight. I would love to do this. Can I ask what company? Yeah, Ginger, you got to tell her. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. <laughs> right offhand. Oh, what the hell was it? Anyways, we ordered all these stickers. And it's been over two weeks, like two and a half weeks, and we've heard nothing. Yes, yeah, Danny Faith Designs. And I emailed, she emailed, and eventually she got through. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so we're still waiting on them. And I am really hoping that they're fantastic. Yes, yeah, super, super slow shipping. But she was also having a big sale, if I remember right. And she may be backlogged because she got more orders than she was expecting. I don't know what the case is because she didn't answer me. I asked these questions, <laughs> but um, I'm I'm seriously hoping they're they're phenomenal. 
Why am I blip blipping? Garbage. She did have a big ass sale. I know. I, I went crazy. Which is why I'm hoping they're wonderful now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm sure you did too, girl. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, some days. I just want to spark myself. All right, I'm going to stick this. Actually, I'm going to stick this up here. I dropped it. The name of the kit. I try to always stick the name of the kit on one of the pages. Like right there. So I can remember. So if I love it, I can go back and get it again. And a free $60 grab bag. Ugh, if I don't get that, I'm going to be mad. Because nowhere in my listing that I was looking at did it show that. But I put it in the, the comment section. I'm like, and don't forget, the girl gets the $60 back. <laughs> you had to spend a certain amount, and then you got that back, grab bag. I done spent over that amount. Stop grabbing that cup, Ella. Finish your one that's going to get cold. And the other day, I went down, and I have coffee cup warmers. They're little plug-in things that you can turn on and off and it keeps your coffee pot hot or your coffee mug hot like your coffee pot would your coffee maker would and I grabbed one out of the drawer to use and my daughter used it to heat up her resin <laughs> so now it's got little resin clumps sticking up so I couldn't put my coffee cup down on it and what a smell and of course I didn't look at it I just pulled it out plugged it in turned it on Got myself a cup of coffee, went to put my hand on it to near it to make sure it was warm. <laughs> Worst smell in the world. <sighs> ah, yes. Oh, I was also going to put that planner on Sunday. See, I got lost. don't like stickers when they have a whole bunch of white space. I have this weird noise from downstairs. It's like do 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 <laughs> I can feel it through the floor. What is he doing? There it is. Why is this pen not working on this sticker? Five at six P. Okay. Fountain pens do not agree with. Now I just cut it all to shreds. The buy the C one. Because that's what I got left. <laughs> nope, that's garbage. I don't know. I thought I had another section of it. Right there. Parasol Paper Company. My fountain pen don't like it. You might not want to know. I know. I better get here so and now uh, I have a package I think it's Queen City or something Queen City designs or something like that and it was coming from here to go to like this to me and it's gone like shh, all the way down and back like major detour but that's not the seller's fault <laughs> that's the post office <laughs> crazy 
seven. An hour. <clears throat> I better get my tiny in here so I can do my other one. Okay. Live at six on Sunday. Thursday, we got Beth Dan's thing. So I gotta make that a priority on here. I'm gonna use the pink. Because Miss Beth is pink. And I need a I wrote in pencil so I wouldn't forget it. And I knew if I had it there, I would remember to put it in as soon as I could. And that pen it doesn't like. So let's try a ballpoint. What was it? 7 Central, so that's 6 p.m. my time. 6 p.m. Miss Beth's nail party. Whoop, whoop. So excited. Okay, I'm going to move on. Only because there's not as much to this kit as I thought there was going to be. And it's kind of a lot of making me sad. That's garbage. Okay. So this is what I got so far. Let me see if I can do this with the light. Not much going on for decoration, but I'll fill this beast up. I always do. No one says snow day. And then we got the Saturday and the Sunday. All right. Interactive time. Pup, pup. Does your boy have a favorite color? Monday, Monday, stinking spring is coming along on me. Oh, and I did decorate my month. Those are all my bills. You know what sucks? They're all right here. <laughs> and then here, that weekend, and then it's like, oh, no bills. He loves yellow. It's the one color he'll say yellow. Oh! I love it. I was going to have that color be my week. So, I think we should do yellow again. Why not? I'm thinking spring. Let's see what else I can do with yellow. This was how this week turned out. You think I can top that? Oh, I bought something that was used on Amazon. And it says, thanks to you, this product has a second life. <gasps> I felt like I was special. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yellow. Red, pink, cream, orange, yellow. Yeah. I've got everything color-coded. Because I'm anal retentive. Okay, so yellow it is. I got all these yellow goods. I'm so excited. I like that wild child sticker, so I'm going to put that right on there. I ain't even going to thank twice. I'm welcoming March with yellow. 
and I like that sticker, so I'm just going to slap it on there. Look at that. That's how I start. Every time I sit and do this without you being live and all that, that's the first thing I do is find something I like and, and then build from it. And now I don't know what I did with the back of that sticker. It's in the garbage. Okay. Dun, 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 I'll walk away up. I like that. <gasps> That's got a moth. Oh, there was a butterfly. Classic myth and legends. I don't know why, but it sounds like fun. I want to use that big ass ugly. No. Sure don't. I answered myself on that one real quick. No. What are these? Tickities and tickety and tickety tickety tickety. Oh, I want to use one of those, I think. Is that yellow or green? That's yellow. Maybe. Maybe. I think I'm probably going to need a flat. It's hard to tell. Retro. Ba -da 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 -da. As he read, I fell in love the way you fall asleep slowly and then all at once. Ah, oh, that is kind of fitting. There's a little quote here. As he read, I fell in love the way you fall asleep slowly and then all at once. This makes me think of your boy too, Pop Pop, because of him and all his books. Oh, we're using it. <laughs> like, is that not meant to be or is that not meant to be? Right. I need to put a big red yellow sticker on the top. Isn't that cute? Oh, I got yellow washi. <laughs> Somewhere. Bing, bing, bong, dun, 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 dun. So fitting. Bam, baby. In this one, I don't worry if things are crooked or not. Sometimes it's just crooked is good. Makes it look even better. See, like, that is a little artsy. When I normally, in my planner, that would have had to been straight. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I'm like, not normal. Okay, and then I think... I like it there or over there. Over there. Kind of yellow book spine. Book spine. What we can talk about. I ask you guys that every time. I get to remember to get her water. I think she's finally done nesting. She just like blew her coat everywhere in the back. She has so much hair back there. It's so cute. She made like her own little bed and oh, my heart was like, oh my God. She's so like a cute. Some more yellow for over here. And that's all right if it's crooked. What do we have this? Oh, this. I almost said a potty word. What did I use last week? Yellow and green, and my mouth is so dry today. I had a couple of pig, guinea, guinea pigs way back 
And oh my god, I loved how they nested. Aren't they adorable? I love guinea pigs. I don't like their squeals though. <laughs> oh! My daughter, like, animal set for her friend that had guinea pigs. They're the cutest freaking little things in the world, but man, they make some noises. I thought maybe I would find something yellow in here. <sighs> yellow and red, maybe. 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 What? And the world can undo, do, 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 do. I just had some serious burps going on. All right, what am I going to use this for this color? Not yellow, I don't think. I like that. Oh. We got ourselves a ticket. They are messy too. Mine did that when he came under. That's usually a sign that they're excited when they do that. Got up this morning. I don't know. It was it was just around five this morning, and I needed to use the bathroom. And I come out, and I almost done killed the bunny because she was in the hallway. She's never in the hallway. I was like, what are you trying to do to me? And she, like, kicked her feet and ran in here. I was like, you little shit. She's a little turd. <clears throat> yeah, I'm talking about you. Little thump. You can come out, you know, and say hi. She's so stubborn. She gets all kinds of excited when I change her litter box. Like, that is heaven to her. Because she knows she's getting all fresh this, all fresh that. And she makes a big old mess. And for some reason, it just makes her super excited to know that she's getting everything. No, she won't. She, she usually doesn't leave the threshold of this door. We have it. I have carpet in here, and it's a painted, ugly-ass wood floor in the on the landing. And she don't usually go out there. She sticks to this room. But that's, I think, because when my daughter lived here, my daughter had a baby gate up, so she wouldn't go out because she was so afraid the bunny would fall down the stairs. <laughs> they know how to jump. <laughs> So she was always gated in this room. This was like her big pen. But when I took over, I, I'm just too old to be stepping over a baby gate all the time or to try to undo it. So I took the gate down and she runs around like a maniac in here and she um, just stays in here. I got to go. I have to do my book review. Oh. I got invited to a group that pays for book reviews. their are cookbooks and relationship books and stuff. I download the books on my Kindle. Oh, I'm so jealous. Good night, girl. Make sure you do a good review. Be very good and honest. Let them know. Then I scroll through Earn Book. And then three days, I'll go read about the book. That's awesome. I used to read a book or two a day. I would just like engulf myself in books. I like that the bunny is trained. I tripped over a baby gate holding my son when he was a year old and they made sure I broke the fall. Oh my God. Isn't that just, oh. A girl I know, her boyfriend was holding his little boy and he stumbled and fell down the stairs with the little boy and he got bumped on the noodle, but he was fine. He was totally A-OK, -okay, but they had to rush him to the hospital to make sure and do all those little brain tests just to be on the safe side. But my heart was like, oh, my God. And it's not even my baby. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so scary. 
Well, this ticket thing is going to be a pain in the backside all week. I can see it. It's not going to stick. So we're just going to stick it under the paper. And then I'm going to find something to go over the paper. To hold it down because I need me a flip because I fell up everything. It's that thick. See you girls in the hen house. Absolutely. Oh my god. I'm so jealous she gets to do that. Like, wow, who thinks that? Chin is so intelligent. She's so good with them things. I sit here and play in my planner. <laughs> what am I gonna do today? And I should be investigating things like that. Oh. But I don't. I need words. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. That's a nice ticket. I'm not going to do that. I'll pull it out. What do we got here? I don't know, but those aren't yellow. Something snuck in there. That's blues and all kinds of other colors. Whoops. I'm so invested in my planners. I plan to plan. Do you do that? <laughs> Don't forget to fill out your planner for tomorrow. Don't forget your to-do list. I get so into it. I'm like, oh my God, I got to document it. Oh, oh, we got words. Yeehaw. Let's see if I can get it started. I use all my extra time trying to put my kid out. Oh, get a food with love. See? Y'all are worried about stumbling over your words. I do it nonstop. Use all my extra time trying to get my kid to talk. LOL. Wish that paid. <laughs> Uh, even right in my planner, set up planner for next week. Absolutely. We all need something that we know we are going to check off. It's so gratifying. At the end of the day, you see that little check and you're like, yeah, I accomplished something. Sometimes I will do something and then write it in my planner just so I can check it off and feel accomplished. <laughs> Like, um, what was it? Wednesday, I think, Wednesday, I was making myself a salad. I bought all the salad fixings, and I make it in a big bowl, and I eat that salad all week long. And I opened the cupboard and went to put something away, a, a new salad dressing in the cupboard, and I knocked out a fresh jar of soy sauce, and it hit the floor. The bottom just flew off. <laughs> And I had soy sauce everywhere. I was so mad. so mad at myself. Oh, man. So after I had to mop it up with paper towel and all that and I keep rinsing the towel, paper towels and keep wiping it up. I had to sweep the floor and then I had to mop the floor. So I came upstairs and I wrote. Sweep the floor, mop the floor, check, check. Mm. <laughs> and I smelled like a Chinese factory. I had soy sauce all up my leg. Oh, God. It was horrible. <laughs> it was like, <sighs> I just want to make a salad. I hate them days when you're trying to just be like a little bit productive. <laughs> And you go and you make more work for yourself. Hi. I smell ham. My husband. One of these days. <laughs> he came home the other day. And he bought himself a smoker. Like a meat smoker that's like this wide. And is like this tall. So now he's smoking every piece of meat he can find. <laughs> Why? 
I'm doing. And all I can smell is all of this. And I don't like the flavor of smoked meats. I just don't. But let me tell you, the smoked ham, it barely has any smoked flavor to it. But, oh God, it's like heaven. Smells so fantastic right now. Can you tell I didn't eat dinner? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hello, my rare. All right, I still need something on that side, Hella. Stop it. Stop flapping your gums and do your job here. Oh, 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 come back here. Found that little humdinger. I'm dead. It's a sticker. Boom, boom. There. Ay, ay. Oh, now it makes it super tight. Bells will be ringing. Oh my God. Way too wrong time. Wrong season for that, Heather. That's a paper. Okay. Let's dig. Dig and dig, girls. Vintage, no, Venetian soap. I love these things. I love them. My Our Atelier subscription box is late because, not because of their, their Chinese New Year. No, this girl forgot to re-up her subscription. And Rosie let me know. And I slept through it. And then I forgot about it. And I re-upped to late. So she's going to mail me. Anyways, the correct, the uh, February. Yeah, she's she's mailing me the February subscription box, even though it's going to be late. And I should get the March one shortly thereafter. Or, like last time, she might send both of them together. Which stresses me out because then I can't tell them apart. I know she put stickers on them that tells us the right one for the right month. But I just jump right in. I don't pay attention. So I'm hoping that comes in soon. All my subscription boxes were late this month. What am I still waiting on? I forget. My R Atelier. Oh, my soul gift was late. I just did that one. Did you mention if cloth and paper sent you the pocket inserts you got personal white in? No, I didn't mention it, but no, they didn't. They didn't do it. Because for some reason, even though I changed it, it wasn't reading it changed on their end. I think it's just an excuse. I'm not there. Stop judging, Heather. You're going to get struck by a lightning bolt. <laughs> but in my opinion, <laughs> I think they just didn't want to send me the right ones. But she was kind and she did a couple of little clickety clicks. And now I'm supposed to get pocket in the next one. I did make a personal order. This is what I got. Isn't this cute? Isn't this dashboard? It's a, a thank you for whatever, for your purchase and all that. Isn't that just cute? Look at this guy. Look at him. <laughs> Melt my heart. And what did I order? I got this big old thick pad of paper. Well, her. And it is a today type of list. I'll just leave it right here. And when I have little scribbles, I scribble on that. You know how when you're um, watching something and you're like, oh, I want to look that up. But you don't know where to write it. And you put it on a sticky note and then it gets lost. Bingo. My prayer has been answered. 
Hallelujah. That's very cute, isn't it? And I got something else too. Sticky notes. Something. I don't even remember, but I did an unboxing. And when I'm happy with what I got and know for sure how I feel about it, I will upload it. I'm, I got to I gotta use everything I get. Because if it's shit, I want y'all to know that it is. So you don't go out and spend your, your money on the same shit. Poop. Poop. The same poop. And be like, why didn't you tell me it was junk? I would rather you know than not. All right. I'm going to stop for a minute because I might overdo this. And then I'll be mad that I messed it up. So I have a little sip. Take a second. Don't look at it. Mac Big Spur 11.2.2 is available and will be installed later tonight. Good to know. Thank you for not doing it right now. All my electronical things will just go and and do their rebooty thing when you least expect it. And you're like, oh, come on. Ay, ay, ay. What did I get? What did I get today? I can't remember. Let me see my clock and... Is that one? No, those are old. I love these boxes. They're so wonderful for storing things. Give me my elephant. Oh, I got inserts. That was one thing I got. Isn't this sad? This is how I store sticky notes and tags and things like that. I'll just stick them all in there. These are just the cloth and paper ones. All my other... Now I can't get it closed because I opened it. Excuse me. All my other sticky notes are up in here that I kept. I gave thousands and thousands away. I have to go for now. My little one is getting sleepy and he's demanding my attention. Oh, see you later. Bye, girl. Have a good night. Give him give him a little kiss on the head. So now I have all these personal wide and B6 inserts that I don't know what I'm going to do with. And they're all actually, all the monthly stuff are dated. Some of them are not. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I tried to get my daughter to come over and try using them. But she is one of those that doesn't use the rings. But she uses the spiral bound ones for all of her school stuff. <clears throat> so that's the bummer. I'm like, come use them. Come try them. She wouldn't. What the heck is up with that? Okay. Do I need another something, something? I do over here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. hearing things going crazy guys going crazy <coughs> I need just a little bit of something let's see when I start doing a new week for some reason it it just never looks hectic enough 
when I'm starting it. Yeah, because I go from this insanity type of deal to a blank page and you stare at that and you're like, what am I going to do? And right now, in O2 Putt Putt's little boy's favorite color being yellow, I'm going to do another yellow week. And that's where I'm at with that. But it just looks too empty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just because my other one was so stinking insane. So I'm like on the fence. Do I keep shoving stuff onto it or do I stop? I don't know. Hey, it's a planner thing. Paper. I don't go in there. I'll put that on there. Who else is here? Does anybody want to make an appearance in the chat line? Come say hi. Don't be shy. <laughs> Damn. That goes in there. That's too big. But I liked it. So there's that. A cinema ticket. A little cinema ticket. Do, do, do. Will that stick to it? Probably not. I'll probably have to glue that little thing down tomorrow. No. No. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, those are stinking little. I might have to. Oh, I got a flower. I got a flower and a flower. Now I need another flower. Somebody just subscribed and it went by so fast. I didn't get to see it. Thank you. Thank you for being a subscriber. That was, oh, it just went so fast. Thank you. I'm so excited. Got a new subscriber. Do, do, do. These pickers, so I can get this off. We don't call tweezers in my house tweezer or tweezers. We call them pickers. From as far back as I can remember, I think it was even like my great grandmother would sit at the table. And pick their little hairs out of their chin. So we always called them picker sheep. Where's my pickers? Oh, come on. It's not, it's not Ben Hafe. It ain't. It makes me nervous seeing that this wants to upload. Wouldn't that be a humdinger, huh? What do y'all want to know? What can I teach you? My darn connection quit. I'm back. Well, welcome back, Miss Beth. <laughs> oh, isn't that a real crapper? I'm so excited for your nails things tomorrow. So excited to check it out. I bought already, I bought three of the same, same nail polish thingies, and that ain't gonna fit right. So I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, flip everything around. Um, talk me out of a pocket rings. You and Ginger are killing me. Don't do it, just don't be a follower. <laughs> Uh, they are so easy to do and they last a week. Um, you gave me these here in one of my little care packages. They were little samples and I've had these on for a week and a half 
They're still there. The only issue I have is this one. It cracked. Like it the nail polish part of it dried out. But I think that's like the nature of the beast right now. It's the uh, hand sanitizer and stuff like that doing it, not uh, a product default. But they I don't think they were meant to <laughs> stand up to gallons of hand sanitizer you know but they are fabulous they're so easy to put on i just put them i even put them over my my gel polish you put clear coat on top i didn't i just stuck them on on top of my my black gel polish and they've lasted all week it's been at least a week week and a half since i've done them and they're still great. They're perfect. All the rest of my nails look like garbage, but <laughs> those ones still look good. So they're nice. I like them. I bought a couple sets for my daughter because she's petite. She's got these little itty bitty, teeny tiny little fingernails. Yes. Yeah, so the pocket, if you, I would say, whoops, my, my pants falling out. Get a piece of paper and draw out the size of these inserts and try to draw or try to write on them. I know you do the A6, but these are even smaller than the A6. Substantially, you know, they're like Uber. One second here. Oh, those ones I don't cut cut. Just so you have a, a smidge bit of an idea. That's all you get. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually quite a bit. You don't have to use clear. I just do. I don't. I didn't because if I didn't like it, I wanted to be able to get it off. That's the only reason I didn't, but in doing so, you don't need to. But yeah, that's, get it down to the bottom, into the crook. So you won't be able to write from here over either. So if I did it like this, that's what you're working with. Anyone have any tips to keep me from taking a suitcase of planners and supplies on our race trip? Regular polish remover takes them off. Polish remover. Awesome. How long are you going to be gone for? How long is your race trip going to be for? I'll, I'll figure something out. 10 days. Oh, that's a long time. <laughs> Ten days is a long time. Well, mm, I would go crazy ten days without a planner. So, take your most used one because you're not. I'm sure you're not going to be like planning anything drastic out. Like, don't forget to go here and go there and go there and there. You can write that in any planner. I would. No shit. <laughs> That's a rugged one. Um, take your... Oh, for me, if I was to go on a 10-day trip, I would have to have my personal journal because that's where all my horse pucky goes throughout the year. And it's my, my throw my garbage in there and get it out of my head, whatever. So that would have to go. So if you have one of those, it's about a 14-hour drive. Ooh. Um, and to plan things, I would... Oh, man, that is a hard one. I would definitely... 
leave 90% of them home because I know I can go without, like I can catch up, sorry, my multi-year journal when I get home. I wouldn't need my, I would take this one because this is my to-dos. Everything I need to do is in here. Um, but if it wasn't this one, it would be this one. Because this goes out of the house with me. This one does not because she's pretty and she's cute and I love her. And I'd be sad if I lost it. So she stays home. Look at that. <laughs> I love this back pocket because you can just slip things in and out. So yeah, I would have to have a uh, at least something I could write my lists of stuff in. Two races, beach days, photography work, favorite restaurants, and annually shopping. Spiral notebook. <laughs> you can click and put whatever you want anywhere. Oh my God, the girl, I'm feeling you. I am so feeling you. I did give you that nice big black and white bag that you could just shove shit in. Did you get that yet? Or is that still here? Yeah, you got that. Fill that beast. I would. But I wouldn't need 900 like writing pens and pencils and all that jazz. Because I take a... um. Whenever I leave to go on a trip, I will take a big, I did, and it's stuffed. <laughs> oh, my God. I take a manila envelope for anything I want to save and journal with later when I come home. And I shove it all in there. At the end of the day or when we are done doing whatever we're doing on that day, I will take a pack of sticky notes with me and I will write where it is, what we did, and the day, and then I stick it in the envelope so that when I go to rejournal on it, I can. Or I will buy postcards from wherever I journal on it, paper clip them together, and put it in a bag, and then do all that when I get home. I took it to South Carolina, weighed 23 pounds. Isn't that just the most sturdiest bag ever? <laughs> It's so cool. And I thought of you because it's classy and not like over, like stand out, like look at me type of bag. But it had so many pockets, places to store things. You can put your laptop in there. Oh, I love that bag, but I never had a place to take it. I always used my tote bags and my backpacks. I even had a backpack for when I went on the plane so I could take your planner stuff with me. But now they're being so anal, you can't take certain types of sharp objects and stuff like that. Like, no, I want the pan. I want my fountain pan. I don't care if it's stabby stabby. Oh. Ten days. Wow. And two of those, you're going to be driving most of the time. I have a feeling it's going to be loaded. I'm sure it is. You're, like, you're going to have to have Rob carry it. <laughs> <You're> like, Rob. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I'm late. You're never late. You made it. Yay. Good evening, Tasha. <laughs> it's awesome. Do you have any tips for Ms. Beth, Tasha, on how to get out of taking all her planners and journals and thingamabobs with her? She's going on a 10-day um, trip, and she works. It's a work trip and a leisure trip, sort of, kind of. Oh, my God. I would be like, I need it all. But please. I would buy an extra plane ticket just to put my bag in, in the seat. <laughs> I pack it, I carry it. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I can't. See, that's why I got to be extra careful because I can't carry big weights on my shoulder yet. I should be able to, but I can't. So everything I, can, I bring out of this house, I need help with. Hmm. 
That's a tough, isn't it? I'm trying to sit here and think. If I had to go somewhere for 10 days and I had to take the minimal, what would I take? I know a journal, one journal, and I would have to have a, a something to document in what we're doing. But what would that be? Your daily to-do planner or your, uh, your weekly planner? I don't know. It will weigh more than my camera gear. My eight case is 56 pounds of camera and lenses and gear. I used to be that insane into photography too, but it becomes a very expensive hobby. <laughs> so I had to stop and I finally did sell all my cameras and it was so heartbreaking. I hate it because this trip we do every year and there are zero stationary shops. Oh my God. You need to make you a sample set. Put it all in like a tackle box and go from there. <laughs> like sample size white out, sample size sticky tapes. And I went, where did we go? I went to Florida. My husband used to transport vehicles from our state to Florida, back and forth, back and forth. And we were supposed to take a trip straight down, sleep, come straight back. And we ended up being gone for almost a month because the engine, it, the head gasket blew in the brand new truck we were driving. So it needed to be replaced and all that. And oh, Lord, I had nothing, nothing. Because I'm like, oh, I won't take anything because we're I'm basically going to be sleeping. While you're driving and when you're not driving, I'll be, and when you're sleeping, I'll be driving. Da, 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 da. I didn't take anything. So I ended up like buying one of those little spiral notebooks that like police officers have in their thing with the spiral on it <laughs> at a freaking truck stop <laughs> and a pencil. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a long one, but thankfully my in-laws live down in Florida, so we could stay with them. But we couldn't just leave the truck there, and it was just insane. It was like it was the best time because you it was unexpected. But oh, I wish I had a pocket printer, but I fear the photos will fade in time. I do have the sprocket, and the paper on that has lasted quite a long time. I have like, I, my pictures don't, aren't usually in the sun, but um, let me, let me actually look into that. This thing here, I've had for about three years, but the thing is you could always print when you got home too in a better quality if you wanted to. So let's see. I'm trying to look for a sprocket picture. And we'll see how it looks. But it's got to be a picture of me. You use your photo lab for now. Is that an app? I think it is. I had an app that was something like photo lab and I could like make collages and stuff like that. And it was great. So yeah, this is, these are three years old because I had my bionic arm going on. I don't know. I got them taped in there, so the glare might be bad. That journal is gorgeous. <laughs> I had to cut the spine out of it so that it would, like, 
and have rum. It's a professional lab. Aha. Aha. So these are sprocket pictures here of me. And they're just as clear. They look like crap on the screen. But that's because I'm on my tap thing. So that gives you an idea. Kind of. Three years old, and they still look just as good. Like this is my, the coloring you could see in this one is, that's my foot on my red four wheeler. I don't know if it's showing up, but it's actually very colorful and it's all there. What journal holds up that well? <laughs> <laughs> this is astrology, <clears throat> and for those of you who don't know, I have one. I have actually a couple of them. This is the exact same astrology. This is how it comes, and this basically has just all kinds of a writing in it. But this is how they come, and. That's what I had to do. <laughs> I cut the spine, just the outer paper layers off and left all the strings. So it doesn't look gorgeous, but it holds it because this is what the front looks like. And it, it moves quite a bit now. But I like it because I can just open it up and continue to work in it anytime I want and I put charms on it. I got all kinds of shit. Uh, you love your little sprocket? Me too. I love it. It's so easy. This is... I keep mine in a little L.L. Bean bag. And this goes with me when I leave. And that's paper for it. Any of these papers you can use. So don't think you have to get the paper that's meant just for the sprocket. Um, the, all the ones that carry this size paper, you can use in here as long as it's zinc paper. And then this is, it's this, it's this bag. You can stick it right in your pocket, you know. That's it. That's all you got to carry. And I love it. But I will tell you. If you leave, uh, which I did, I normally don't, you leave paper in here. Oh, one. Over time, your paper will do one of these. And then it won't read it, so you can take it out and flatten it underneath a book or something. And it's very easy to, to get along with. I love it. It's so simple. Thanks for sharing. No problem. I do have a... A flip of this this beast as well. But yeah, it was supposed to. I don't know if you can see like the insanity of it. It's a never ending process too. This is what I call my happy journal. Anything that makes me happy. I put in here. Sometimes it's something somebody gave me. Sometimes it's something I found. Pictures of me, my kids. You should always have pictures of yourself somewhere that make you happy. Excuse me, but you know, it's it's just an insane insanity type of thing, and I love doing it. I have quotes and journaling pages in here. All kinds of, of goodies. Um, I was trying to see if I could find a another picture that wasn't taped on top. This is me and my bionic arm. This is how I walked around for almost a year of my life. Isn't that just terrible? And there's another one of me. 
and this is all sprocket. I can't tell you it's the actual sprocket paper, but it's printed from my sprocket. Yeah, super fun. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. I have them. I have one going that's a B6. And I have one that's an A5. Because you know you find that per, uh, special piece of ephemera. Or like somebody sends you a card. And you don't want to cut it up. And I will I like it and want to keep it. I will put it in a bigger one of these. But yeah. I, I make them beastly fat. I love a good chubby something. Chubby chubby one. This one here actually has less in it. I got it sticking. I cut it down. It's an A6. I cut down to be a pocket to go in this one. And I love it. Love, 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 love. So, yeah, I don't know. I would take a, if it was me, I would need either a bullet journal style something, whether it be a, a grid or a polka dot journaling thing like that so I can do what I want when I want how I want in it while I'm out but oh, I don't know Beth Ooh. it's easy to say what you should take when you're not actually going on the trip yourself because then you know you're not going to be like but I need this and I need that because I don't know it's a good thing, all I got to say is it's a good thing when I come down to visit you, I'm going to be driving my car because that thing is going to probably be packed with all of this. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, but I need this and I need this. Take a nice pair of scissors. Don't forget your tweezers for your stickers and stuff like that. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's definitely a tough one. The only way I could I could do it is if I had a big ass notebook to just write everything in. And normally when I'm on trips is when I have the urge to like draw and stuff like that. So I need something a good enough paper that I can draw on but not be like a mead five star type of notebook. Oh, I'm feeling your pain, girl. Feeling it. Whew. Hmm. Ah. Load them up. Load it all. Oh. My last cup of coffee, would you? <laughs> Done rondo. Oh, I was gonna try stamps. I even put this dewdrop pad in front of me so I wouldn't forget. So I might have to get something out and stamp in that. Just to make myself happy. Where'd I just put that? I'll find it tomorrow. I don't know what I did with that. What is the tattoo on my wrist? Which one? Inner? Oh, wrist. This is a phoenix. A line drawn phoenix. I drew, I doodled that. And this one my daughter drew me. It is a lotus flower. And then over here, I have feathers. There we go. And birds. And the words here say uh, love and family. And the birds represent me and my two children. 
And then the feathers represent my twins that I lost. I, I miscarried them when they were almost, I was five, over five months along. So I, I, they, I think of them every day still. And I'm like let right up. Why didn't I think to move that freaking light in the first place? I like matrixed and blurred. Thank you. I actually have more tattoos, but nobody really ever gets to see them because I don't wear um, shorts and stuff like that in the wintertime. I have a puzzle piece on my ankle that me and my best friend, she has the other piece, have. Um, my first tattoo I ever got was a scorpion and that's on my backside because I'm a Scorpio. And then I drew a vine. And that vine goes all the way around my waist. And it has prickers and leaves and stuff like that. And I got a big angel on the side, my rib cage. What else I got? <laughs> I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven of them. Now oh, that's blinding me now that I moved it. Here There. That's a little better. Now I can... At least see a little bit. Yep, so. These are both symbols of strength. Which is why I have them. Because I always rise above from the flames of all the garbage in your life. And I come out on top like... <laughs> and it's just a reminder that no matter what goes on in life... Nothing can hold you down with self. I love and seeing and hearing about others' tattoos, and thanks for sharing. No problem. I would share my, my other ones, but I'm a little chubby. <laughs> Nobody wants to see my backside. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mine are usually always like my, I think every tattoo on my body is about life, strength, um, healing. Just about, yeah. The only one was my, the only one that's isn't iffy is my scorpion. I mean, my scorpion. Yeah, my scorpion. That was because I was a scorpion and I was 18 and I had to have a tattoo. I didn't care what anybody said. And I didn't know what to get. And it just said, well, you're a scorpion. I'll get a scorpion. <laughs> I do. But I don't ever gonna look at it because it's back there. It's on the back side. You have tattoos too? Oh, awesome. How many do you have? My favorite one is is my kids and myself and my family. That's that's, and then my second favorite is my lotus because my daughter drew that. What was she? I think she was sophomore in high school. And you have eight. I got seven. I gotta get one more. I gotta be even. Eight is the infinite number. It's perfectly round and round. My biggest one goes from here to here. Oh, you can see some of my my chub. Don't mind that. Now the whole world can see all that. <laughs> and an appointment in June for a half sleeve. Ugh. Oh. I'm jealous. 
my daughter has like half a sleeve going on and they're all black and white and they're beautiful. Tasha, you have five? Oh, girls. We all need to get a, a chicken for the hen house. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> My cousin actually has right here, it says bagok. Like a chicken goes, bagok. <laughs> That's what she's got. On my arm, an angel and a heart on my ankle. It hurts to take them out, but to put them on. I would never remove one, only because it's like um, a phase in your life that, you know, it happens, it's there, and it's like forever. I would I would just leave it. I just don't look. <laughs> I wouldn't just look at it. My favorite uh, moments was when I was pregnant. All my doctors and nurses would be like, oh, my God, that is so cool. Because my vine that I have has thorns on it. And wouldn't you know, my baby stretch marks are right where the thorns pins are. So it looks like the thorns dug through my belly as it grew. It's not so pretty now, but it, it was pretty cool looking. I wouldn't remove either. They all have a story. Absolutely. They absolutely do. My daughter wants to go and have a tattoo done, like like a mother daughter thing. And my son, my daughter on her inner arm has our dog's paw print, and my son wants that there too. He was just shy of fifteen years old when he passed. Talking about my dog, and. I had him since he was a puppy, and my son was three, and my daughter was like a year and a half, so that's all they knew was this dog. You have your mom's signature on your inner arm. Oh, that is so nifty. What a great idea. Yours looks very nice. Well, thank you, Rose. No. This is my... What's my newest? My, I think my angel is my newest. That was a long, long day in the chair because you have to sit like on your side with your arm up like this. And then they lay you on your back. My shoulder was so sore. Thank God it's on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Your mom's signature. Right? That, Tasha says that's that's nice to you, Michelle. That is awesome. Hi, baby. Don't out. Hi. What are you doing? I'm going to hide because you're talking to me. Oh, she's loving on her bear. <clears throat> oh, I, I, I have like tattoo fever thinking about it. Don't do it. <laughs> I was surprised when my daughter got hers because she like um started. Hers started with a paw print of the dog right here. And then all of a sudden, her she's got this like massive New Hampshire thing going on. She's got the state of New Hampshire, which is where we're from. She's got the state bird, the state flower. Um, she's got her EMT thing down her on her the other arm, and it's just it's so pretty. She's driving you nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh god she's such a sweetheart she really is but she's been nesting so she's been like super shy and standoffish she actually stole i have a teddy bear that's less than six inches long 
she stole it and she's been laying with it back there, like trying to bring it alive. <laughs> Feel so bad. Your sleeve will be flowers. Oh, that's cool. Flowers are so pretty. Do you have color or do you just do black and white? I also have a bee and a moth, both in her arm, an Italian flag on my ankle for my grandfather. The words, a bushel and a peck. Oh, I love those. Bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. A hug around the neck. A hug around the neck. I love that song. And Apple. Because I'm a teacher. Oh, that is cool. All black and white except for a flag and a dolphin on my, my back. I have learned through trial and error, my body does not hold red colors. No shades of red stay. So if it's a brown, if it's a purple or a pink or bright red, it doesn't stay. So you sit there for all that time and you end up with this beautiful tattoo. And a year later, it's spotted because my body just rejects the ink and pfft, it's gone. So I've gone to black and white, except for right here, it's, it's blue into teal because I had twin boys. And then on my ankle, I have that puzzle piece and part of it is red and the red's just like, nope. All the brown in my vine is gone. Just about, it's all you see is green skin. I'm doing that, babe. What are you doing? You're gonna come over here? No. No, she says. Yeah, no, mine didn't stay. I don't know if you can see. I have to take my boot off. Rub it up. It's a red and blue right there. And most of the red is gone. It's like all like splotchy and it's gross. So I gotta figure out how I wanna change it. I picked the the shape of the tattoo and my friend picked the colors. My stepfather was the same way. Red and whites wouldn't stay. I remember he had a big panther on his arm. And every couple of years, he'd have to go have the tongue and the teeth touched up. Because they just wouldn't stay. It's weird. It's weird how your body reacts to things. Two hours. <laughs> It is. I watched this show um, on Oh, I don't know what it was. Oh, um, on Facebook. Oh, there she goes. You have a spot where you can watch a video and then another video plays and another video. It's called Ink Master and I think it's I think it's on Hulu or something like that, Ink Masters. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I think I think you can watch it on YouTube. It's where these guys that are already tattoo artists, they go to this place to become like the top uh tattoo artist. And some of the things these people end up putting on people's bodies, I'm like, I would die. Do, um This one guy, he wanted a picture of Jesus, you know, more of a realistic picture of Jesus with the the head and his arms, you know. The lady who did it, she did an amazing job for most of it, but his legs were like this long and his upper torso was like this, so he looked like he was stunted. That's an iconic image. 
<laughs> and anybody who looks at that will know that there's something wrong with it. <laughs> oh, that's my biggest fear is one of these times, you know, my daughter's going to get a tattoo and it's going to be like something way wrong. But she's been going to the same artist her whole thing. She's never changed. And the same artist did both of these and this and my angel. So I know he does good work. And I know he's sanitary and she will be safe and clean and healthy when she gets out of there. But I, I couldn't imagine. You see some of these horror stories and it's like. I've seen that show. Some tattoos look so real, like 3D. Some of them are absolutely insane. And I don't know how they do them in the small amount of time they have lauded to do it. Some of them should be taking a couple of sittings and they're like banging them out in a couple hours. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was 18. Yeah, I was, I think I was 18 in like seven months because my birthday is in November and it was June when I got it. Yeah, so I was like seven months after my 18th birthday. And it was by a very, like, well-known artist in town. Like, everybody talked about him. And no matter where you went, everybody knew Hollywood. That's his name. And uh, he did my first one. And then the guy that works with him did my second one. And then all the rest were done by another artist, the same one. It's one of those where my tattoos are sporadic. It's an, and mine mainly are like in the heat of the moment. Oh, I need this. I'm out of here. <laughs> I gotta go do it. Yeah. My Phoenix. I was sitting there talking about a, another tattoo <clears throat> that I have. And I was telling my boss about where I go and all that. And he's like, well, let's go take a detour. So we packed up for the day, went to the tattoo shop. And my boss ended up getting double sleeves done. I wish I got a kickback for that. Because <laughs> I took him to my artist. And my artist ended up spending like over a period of time doing his sleeves. It ended up taking like three days total. You know, like eight hours sitting here, five hours there, six hours there. So my boss paid big bucks and I didn't even get a free tattoo. <laughs> Where I am, kids eight, age 13 can get theirs as long as they have parents with them. Here, it doesn't matter. You have to be 18 no matter what. My first tattoo artist, his name was Hollywood, he actually got sent away because he tattooed a girl who was underage who had a very convincing um, fake ID. But back then, you had to be 16 with parental consent. And she brought in a friend's mom or something to sign it. And he ended up going away for that, which is sad. But yeah, 18, 18 and over. My daughter actually had to wait. She was dying. She's like, I'm never going to be 18. Because from the time she was uh, 15 on, she knew what she wanted. And she was determined to get it. And she did. And it was, what was that? It's a heart that has a heartbeat through it. And she's always wanted. She drew herself. Because she was going, she knew she was going into the medical field and she, she had to have it. 
And then she went into nursing school. She works at the emergency room. She's also an EMT and is still going through college classes all at the same time. So she has, uh, like, she works at two different hospitals, an ambulance company, and she's going to school. And she does it all on her own and even pays for her own housing. Freaking insane. And she's 19. Yeah, 19. Absolutely. Definitely more mature. And they are, you know, they're still young and foolish and crazy. But your tastes from that 16-ish age to like 18 or even 13 to 18 is so drastic. You know, you might at 13 want a cartoon character on your arm or Justin Bieber's head. But by the time you hit 18, you don't want that stuff no more. <laughs> You've come into your own and found your own style and you're like, yeah, this is it. Because it's kind of hard to work around a certain style. <laughs> My husband has full sleeves. All down one arm. Half a sleeve here and like an armband thing up there. And they're like tribal type of... And you can't work around them. You can't put anything else. It is what it is. You have to stick with that style on that arm. <laughs> <clears throat> my parent, my mom was always like, it's your body, do what you want with it. I was piercing my own ears. I got five in this ear. All of these were before I hit 16. I would just decide, oh, I need another earring. Put it right in. The only ones that are professionally done are my first holes. All the rest, I did on my own. I'd just be like, they're like, I need a new airing hole. I used to have them that went all the way up, but they've healed up beautifully. I'm considering a nose piercing. Some people can carry it off. Some people not so much. It all depends on what you get and where you get it. I don't, um, I don't judge people by it, the way they look at all. But when you got this big old bar that goes this way, no. <laughs> you know, what if you do this? You know how bad that's going to hurt when that bar goes, oh, oh, don't do it so it's painful. I want a small stud. My daughter has a small stud in her nose. She pierced her nose by herself. She pierced her belly button by herself. All her ears are done by herself. She had what was that? professional piercings here. <laughs> um, what else? I don't think she has any more. I'm a, I have a nose piercing and I'm 52. Been wearing it for years. Rock it, girl. Rock it. Is it in your your um your nostrils or is it through your thing? Because that, that biscuit's got hurt. That's the only thing I would think of. Because there's not much soft tissue in here to go this way. Oh, that's the only thing I can think of. Is, oh, the pain! I remember when I pierced right here in my cartilage for the first time and you couldn't sleep on it for like two months because it took forever. I couldn't imagine right through here. Oh, Does it hurt when and if you have to blow your nose? I'm 48 and wondering if I'm too old. You're never too old for anything. Mm -mm. Don't let anybody ever tell you you are. Your life, your body, you live it your way. Yeah, I I never was brave enough to do my nose, only because, you know, ugh. I would be afraid I'd be like the one that gets it bonked all the time, but that nose rings have come a long way. 
Nope, not at all. It doesn't hurt to blow her nose. My daughter, the only thing I don't like about hers sometimes is she'll have one that goes in and it's like hooked off. No backing on or anything like that. It'll turn so you can see it. And it looks like she's got a silver booger. I'm like, fiction hole ring. <laughs> she's like, oh. I usually wear my septum turned up so no one sees it anymore. How long did that take, though, to make it so it wasn't going to hurt? Because you got that, like, I don't know. There's not much. Oh. Not much in there. I'm talking about the people who do that, that have like a rod that you can like clearly see. I would be in bed and be like, boink. I can't. I know I, I'm just not feminine enough or something to be gentle. I would be one of those that got like this big old, and I'd be like, ah, when you just try to do this. That was my least painful piercing, and I have eight. Huh. I wouldn't think it would be. Because you know what it's like when you get a little zit in your nose or in your eyebrows? You feel like your world is going to come to a crashing end, and you're going to die. Because they hurt. Like, oh, I couldn't. Mm. That's all I can think of when I do it. I'm like, oh, my God, it's got to hurt. I can sit for eight hours on getting a tattoo, no problem. But trying to pierce something like, ow, <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> You're a golden girl now. Yeehaw. <laughs> That's funny. I was actually watching that show the other night. What is it on? Um, Discovery Plus. <laughs> That's the Golden Girls. I watched the very first episode the other night on it, and I was like, dying. Those, those girls are awesome. I used to stay up and watch them. And oh, Three's Company was on the other day while I was sitting eating dinner. I'm like, oh my god. And then you're like, <laughs> Sucked right into it. I love them old shows. Oh. All right, you guys. I am going to go. It is 8.23 p.m. I have not eaten dinner. I got, I'm starving. <laughs> I had awesome time tonight. I didn't even finish decorating anything. <laughs> How's that? I did get this far in my journal, though, and I put it away, and this was last week. For those of you who weren't here earlier, um, the color for this week was chosen by uh, Beth Ann Putt-Putt. She changed her name on here as Putt-Putt because her son's favorite color was yellow. Even though I did yellow last week, that's quite all right. So next week, I'll have somebody else call out the color, and we'll go that way. Have a good dinner. Thank you. And you have yourself a good week. Bye, Tasha. Bye, Rose. Bye, the other... Five of you are who are on here. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, guys. I love you all. See you next week. Stay tuned for new videos. I got some going up this week. All right. Bye now.